the UN has called for urgent additional resources for the flood relief effort in Pakistan. Millions of people without enough food, water, shelter and warm clothing are at risk as winter closes in. As we went to air, Tsuji volunteers in Sindh province in the badly affected south of the country were handing out aid to some of the most needy victims. The aid includes some 100 tonnes of rice and 27,000 blankets dispatched from Taiwan. A total of around 6,800 households were to receive 15 kilograms of instant rice and four blankets for each family. The distribution site was at a sugar factory in Sujawal in the Tata district of Sindh province. The eight-member Tsuji team from Taiwan were helped by local volunteers paid under a Work for Relief program, as well as recently trained students and local businessmen. Security was supplied by the police. Before the distribution began, we caught up with the team as they were busy preparing to deliver the vital aid. With local police standing guard, the Tsuji Disaster Survey team is heading from the city of Karachi to the local Sindh province town of Sujawo. The team has also brought 8,000 letters written by Master Zhen Yan, communicating her hope and compassion for these suffering people. The love and blessings are echoing in the spirits of the people here. These four University of Karachi students and one professional have come with the team to help with the work. Once at the appointed distribution site, a local sugar factory, the team starts arranging for the big day. One, two, three. Even the local police help out as well as some of the locals who set up a large banner that reads Taiwan Tsuji Foundation, Pakistan Flood Relief. Responsibility to you know uh, provide uh, provide you help as much as we can uh, for the poor and hungry people. The distribution site is quite spacious and will be serving some 6,800 families here. In other words, tens of thousands of individuals will be receiving the aid. Today, we need to use everything we've ever learned to set up in such a way to ensure a glitch-free aid distribution tomorrow. So it's what the Master has told us it should be, to allow these suffering people to receive the relief as quickly as possible so they may happily return to their homes. Local government and businesses have been helping Tsuji meet this goal. Anis is a successful clothing factory owner from Karachi, and in Tsuji's relief team he has seen, for the last 10 days, a group of dedicated, work-wearing people. He was so moved he donated 200,000 rupees, making him the first Pakistani contributor to Tsuji. That if somebody wants to help poor people, needy people, helpless people, how they have to organize Tsuji. We are direct, we are focused and we are respectful. Once he understood this, he knew whatever money he gave, Tsuji would be used well. Though thousands of kilometers apart, through this disaster, Taiwan and Pakistan have been brought together as of families under the same roof, sharing these trials with selfless love and a blossoming understanding.